three videos, three days in a row. What? Are there any ways in which you feel like a hypocrite? You know, I've always been the type of person that wants to be rational and consistent at all times. So this used to make me feel like a hypocrite anytime I said or did anything. Then I realized that life is far too dynamic to try to live by any kind of set rules. You kind of just got to play it by ear. It's very likely that you're going to have to change your mind every now and then. For example, I really love profound and thought provoking music. And I also used to feel like a hypocrite whenever I would find myself bobbing my head to like Soulja Boy or Fergie. But you know, whatever. You like what you like. Worst relationship you ever had? Now, I guess I've had a couple of unhealthy and dysfunctional relationships, but I never had one that was that bad where I'm like, worst relationship ever. I feel like it would be unfair to the girls involved to say that they were because I did learn a lot of things from these people and I had a lot of good times with these people. How was your relationship with your parents? Now, I grew up living with my mom and only seeing my dad like a couple times a year, so I'm much closer to my mom, obviously, but I think they're both really cool and I've come to admire them both quite a bit. Have you ever had a really good long-term relationship? Nope, that is more or less by choice though, but I'm getting old, so we'll see what happens. Have you ever been in love? I don't really like the term in love because I don't really think it's a thing. Well, it's a thing, but it's not the thing that people seem to think that the thing is thing. Now, love is a thing, but in love seems to just be a very deep and irrational infatuation. And yeah, I've done that a couple times and it was gross. What do you love most about being a vlogger? Well, the main reason I vlog is because I seem to have a lot of things to say to the world and YouTube has created an excellent way of facilitating that. Good on you, YouTube. Where in the world have you been and where's your favorite place to be and where would you like to go? Well, I haven't really visited any other countries except Germany where I was born and left when I was two years old and Panama where my mom is from, but I was very young and I don't really remember it. In terms of America, I've been to almost every state on the East Coast and most of the South and also California. So far, my favorite place in America is New Orleans. A lot of people don't like touristy towns like that, but I love it. There's always something to do, even when it's daytime, when it's nighttime. And also, the food is amazing. What is the number one thing about you that you feel needs improvement? Definitely the fact that I am a lazy, procrastinating bastard. Who's your favorite god? Uh, Pan? What freaks you the fuck out? The concept of suffering or being tortured? If you could own any animal, what would it be? I really want a sloth. Not even kidding. If you could get rid of one word, what would it be? Get rid of words? I don't think we have enough words as it is. We need to be making new words. I think I'm going to make a word up right now. Follicubulus. The quality or condition of having awesome hair. Leave your new words and definitions in the comments. What were all your majors in college that you kept switching because you're an aimless, procrastinating, weird crazy person. Okay, they didn't add that last part. Anyway, they were art, film, philosophy, and English. If you could meet five YouTubers, who would they be? In terms of people that I think it would just be cool to hang out with, uh, definitely Alex Day, definitely Fresned, Community Channel probably, Swoozio 6 for sure, and Daily Grace. And the last question is from my friend Alex or Talix on YouTube, and he asks, Hey Kevin, I always found it interesting that people were affected by the things that other people did or the things that other people said. And I know that sometimes people have come back to me and said some of the stuff that I said to them, you know, made them make a decision to do something or something or another. So what I wanted to know is what was the most inspirational piece of advice that anyone's ever given you? or that you can remind, that you think that you have given someone else. I can't think of a specific piece of advice that someone has given me, but a couple of my past friends have taught me the biggest lesson by far that I've ever learned in my life, which is to not take people for granted. I try my best to make the people I like feel loved as often as possible. As for my advice, again, I can't think of anything specific, but several people have told me that I inspire them to just be better people overall which is awesome. Thank you for watching my video. If you ask me a question in comments, I might answer it at the end of one of my videos. If you ask in video response form, I will almost certainly use it. Send me a fucking video response.